What's up guys, welcome to another video. And today guys, we're gonna be painting the calipers of the Volvo. By the way guys, if it looks a little different, it's cause I'm using my GoPro because my other camera, I accidentally forgot to bring like a SD card thing I need for it. So we're just gonna film with the GoPro. Hopefully everything is good. Hopefully you guys can see me good and hopefully the audio is good. But like I said, we're gonna be painting the Volvo calipers and uh, we're gonna actually paint And What color did you choose again, Ruben? You chose red. Ooh, red, so glossy, metallic red. And uh, yeah, like uh, we're gonna paint them right now. It's pretty late, but hopefully we finish soon. Now we're gonna teach you guys the, the steps in, in order to paint them. So the first step that Oscar's doing right now, he put some brake cleaner. You grab a cheap one from O'Reilly's, you know, O'Reilly brand, it'll do. And he's currently using that brush to clean it out. Uh, smoothing the surface and get it prepped for painting. As you guys can see, he put a bag here in order to cover the, the rotor. We did it before, so we kind of know how to do it now. So why you chose glossy red, Ruben? Uh, you have a blue car. You decided to go glossy red. What were your other options, bro? My other options was uh, for yellowish, goldish color. Uh huh. And I just, I just thought you know red would look more badass, considering I'm gonna eventually go with some different color wheels. Oh shit! Badass wheels. Yeah, yeah. Soon, soon, yeah, soon to come. Uh -huh. So yeah guys, like I said, we're cleaning it. Once we're done cleaning it, uh, I'll get back with you guys. We're gonna have like a pit stop for NASCAR. So guys, as you've seen, uh, my boy Ruben right now just took off his wheel so we can, you know, do it faster, be more efficient and not, you know, just do one at a time. We're trying to do uh, two at a time. So once, as you see guys, he's cleaning, still cleaning that. We're going to start cleaning this one also so we can have it prepped up and, you know, once we, we paint that one, we paint that one, that one dries, we go another coat on that one. We're going to do about three coats on each and we're going to show you the paint we're using. So uh, let, let's see the paint. Where's the paint? I don't even know if I'm aiming right because... No. Alright guys, so this is the paint you're supposed to use. Well, you can use other kinds, but basically just make sure you use engine paint because uh, of course the brakes and the rotors get really, and the calipers get really, really hot. So you want to make sure you have something that can withstand that type of degree. This one does uh, go up to, uh, can, can withstand heat up to 500 Fahrenheit as you guys see. So. This is the type of paint you need. You get other brands, but we just decided to get this one. Like I said, it's red, as you guys can see. So, yeah. Guys, I'm also thinking about, uh, you know, painting my calipers. As you guys know, I have some, uh, mines are uh, like metallic, darkish gray. I don't know if I should paint them also, maybe some bright color like red, tur 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 turquoise, or I don't know, green, something like that. So uh, let me know down below if I should do it a my Z. Cause uh, I, I kind of like the color it has right now, but you know, I'll probably switch it up also. All right guys, I currently switched up the, from the GoPro to my phone because I don't know, some problem came up with the GoPro that pissed me off, but we're gonna, I'm gonna record it now. This is the first coat and the first type we're gonna do. So uh, yeah, Oscar. You hear that? You hear that? So guys, uh, like uh, if you haven't seen my uh, fast and dead video, the first coat is like the lightest coat because uh, whew, you don't wanna, you wanna start off slow and then you know every coat gets a bit thicker. So that's what, exactly what Oscar's doing right now. And you make sure you, you really shake that bottle before spraying. Final coat, the third coat has been applied and uh, it's pretty much almost dry. To show you guys, it looks really, really glossy, really shiny, really good. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we I didn't show you how we did it after the first coat, but we're about to start on that one, so I'll show you on that one. But yeah, it's really, really good. First impression, really badass. Got some pizza, you know, guys. You just um, your go-to meal when you're working on cars. All right, guys, this is the second coat. We did the first one, this is the rear caliper, so. Uh, yeah, it's the second hole, like I said, you go. Good. Cut that shit off. Good. So yeah, guys, second coat, you go a bit uh, more grand, and 
And uh, yeah, as you guys see, it's really popping out already. You think that's enough for the second coat? H&R Springs we installed, right? I think that was probably like one of the first, I'm sure that was like the first thing we ever did for Vol. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't zoom in. Yeah. Right. So yeah guys, as you guys see, really, really shiny. Now he's gonna heat it up, dry it as quick <laughs> as possible to go for the third coat because it's getting pretty uh, low over here. So Ruben, uh, so you like it, right? Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I realized, dude? What? When aren't we doing shit to the whip, bro? Like we uh, every day, man. We we grinding over here. Yeah, yeah. Have a crew, put in work. And the end Havoc HQ. And yeah. While Oscar has a week of vacation, we we pushing into the limits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me, guys, look. I mean, this is this isn't like hard. Like anybody can do it. We can do it. The only reason why Oscar is doing it is because uh, I'm like filming. Ruben is like you know freaking uh, backup, and my boy Oscar. He done this like many times already, so I mean he just did it. He also did it to the clip, so you know. Paint the black. Yeah. So I mean anybody can do it, guys. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. If you never painted before, I suggest you probably start out no, painting black. some emblem or something with yeah, that dip because yeah. that comes off. But like I said, guys, it's pretty simple. Once you get a hang of it, it's really not hard at all. Third one done. One more clip of how they look, guys. We got the light on, we got the wheel on, and this is how it's gonna look. Golly, it looks really good, guys. So, guys, this is the last one, the fourth one. Yeah, as you can see, my boy has the light right on it, and it looks really, really good, Ruben, huh? Uh, yeah, shiny as fuck. All right, your last uh, impressions about it. Well, you, 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 uh, how much was it again? Just to like, just, just to paint it. I mean, the, the bottom was like, I don't know, like seven bucks each. Seven eight. bucks. Seven. And we only use not even one full bottle. So guys, all you need is that. Seven dollars, two dollar brake cleaner. And that's it. If you're going to do it yourself, this video really shows you how to do it. Because I mean, there's nothing much more to it than we guys, than what we guys showed you. So if you guys, does this look good? No? Yeah, it look good. Just do it, you saw it. So guys, if you decide you want to do your calipers, I mean, who doesn't want to paint their calipers? It really makes them look way more better than they are. With a shiny color, they're really gonna pop out. We, we can't show you right now how it looks on the sun or outside because it's getting dark. But this is gonna conclude today's video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, found this video helpful, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Much more content to come. So yeah, guys, it's been your boy Eduardo, Ruben, Oscar, Peace.